on this episode, I'm doing a 48 hour session at Whitsford Pit, just outside Cambridgeshire. The lake itself holds carp weighing over 20 pound, but due to an otter kill, four years ago, there's only around about 10 to 15 carp left. Early on in the session, I caught a seven pound pike, and around midnight, I also had a take, but unfortunately lost the fish due to the thickness of the weed in front of me. So we're just gonna carry on from the second day. So it's uh, second, going into the second day now of uh, my 48 hour se session at uh, Wooksford. I'm pretty, pretty quiet this afternoon and this morning. I had, a, had the take obviously at uh, midnight last night, took me straight into the weed, uh, knocked me right up. I freed him once, like I said earlier, but then again, he went straight back into the weed. I've got loads of weed in front of me and even if I drop the lead, they're just diving straight into it because they've got so much they can just dive into. Uh, I've still got um, the same spot. They've kind of moved down the lake a little bit, but they're still in front of me. Uh, and I've prepped another spot across the way under some snags. And I've flicked a, another pop-up and uh, pre-baited it up. So hopefully tonight that should get me a bite as well. Um, I feel confident that I'm going to get another bite. I think it's more of an evening water because twice... The time I last time I fished it, I caught on a pink pop up. That's the other thing, pink seems to be the one that works. Um, and that was around about eight, nine o'clock. I had that bite before I went home, and then this time it was midnight last night. I had the bite, so it seems to be a night nighttime water to get the big fish. So, if I catch anything, uh, I'll update you. And fingers crossed, I do get one put on the bank to show you. I'm going into my last night now. I've uh, been here for uh, over 24 hours. Um, seen the fish that have been swimming around my area. I had another walk around the lake earlier because I didn't see them around about lunchtime for a couple of hours. And I was thinking to myself, maybe they've moved up the other end of the lake. But I walked around, um, didn't see them. But when I walked, come back, there they were, still out in front of me. Um, you wouldn't believe it though, but just then I was just sat here under my bivy, just looking out across the water, trying to see any more movement. And uh, they swan, they've been swimming under my rod tips and just to the right of me is um, a tree leaning over and right underneath it is a massive gravel bit, it's clear. And uh, they come swimming in and they swam straight over this gravel bit. So tonight, one of my rods which I had under a snags I brought in, I've uh, put a nice little balance pop up straight on that gravel spot and I've baited it up with hemp and maize and a few, uh, few boilies. So, fingers crossed, tonight they come back around because I keep patrolling this area in the middle uh, around the weed and hopefully fingers crossed I can, I can nick one apart from that uh, I haven't had no nothing else to to say really because like I said in this lake there's only a certain amount of fish there isn't a hell of a lot of uh, carp in here so I'm just trying to pick out these these carp so try and get one off the margin tonight but I've still got the one over there far back under a tree uh, where I had my take last night on a pop up. I've been scattering boilies over that and fingers crossed I'll get a boy. Coming in at 21 half pound, literally off the uh, gravel pit spot, which I've, which I found earlier, watching them come in and out. And this is what I got for my reward. Oh, I'm ecstatic. Look at this bar of gold, pure black common, pristine. Only been caught probably a handful of times in its life. Happy days, 
happy days. Cheers. Pretty good session early hours this morning and last night at the bream that little slab at uh, half past 11 at that common at 21 and a half pound at uh, half past one then i had to take at half past four uh, all from the same spot but unfortunately the last one i lost i did I had a bream just then about five pound but it looked like it'd been attacked by a pike and it's uh it's, the scars look like its belly started coming out it didn't look pretty to look at that's why i didn't take a photo but overall on a difficult tough water uh, to get four fish because I had the pike yesterday six bites and land four is a result especially for this place because some people come here and blank all the time so if I catch anything else I'll keep you updated but if not thank you for watching and, uh, and I hope to see you soon cheers